All right, welcome to Cool Tech Gang, and I have somebody who's really, really important for everybody who's a '90s kid or a '2000s kid. Uh, email use करा है तो आपने ये particular account जरूर रखा होगा मेरे पास अभी तक है. The co-founder of Hotmail, we have Sabir Bhatia with us. Sir, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Sabir, sir, there's so many questions. First of all, I want to thank you. I'll tell you why. Okay, and this is a very uh, uh, genuine धन्यवाद है क्योंकि when you are a, a small kid, right, and you want to write to your girlfriends. ओके एंड यू डोंट वांट योर पेरेंट्स टू नो तो लेटर की जगह जो हॉटमेल और ईमेल ने जो हमारे लिए करा है ना आई किड यू नॉट लाइक यू नो वी यूज टू राइट दीज लव लेटर्स एंड लव ईमेल्स टू आर गर्लफ्रेंड्स इन अदर सिटीज दे यूज टू राइट बैक टू अस दे वर ऑफ कोर्स देर वॉज द टाइम ऑफ याहू मैसेजर एंड हॉट एंड यू वुड लाइक टू गेट देर ई मेल आई दे विल गिव यू देर हॉट मेल ई मेल फिर आप एक प्यारा सा एक ई भेजते थे सो यू नो इट इज इट्स इट्स नोस्टैलजिया वन वन फॉर श्योरली How do you feel today? Uh, the email world is how, how is it uh, uh, evolving? Like, do you think it is still relevant? Because it was a big thing at that time. India में लोगों के पांच पांच सात सात email addresses होते थे just because they wanted to book certain uh, email IDs. कि यार मेरे को ना कबीर शर्मा one on one चाहिए कबीर शर्मा nineteen eighty चाहिए मुझे कबीर शर्मा ही चाहिए. So from that era to day, where we have instant messaging, we have so many apps, so many, so much technology around. What do you think about email? The relevance. Email is still the king, or king रहेगा क्योंकि आपकी जो दूसरे forms of messaging हैं जो WhatsApp या instant messengers या वो सब that is for short messaging. If you want to get your your airline tickets, you want to get confirmation of something. The one constant ID is your email ID. you know till today if you uh, do a bank transaction you want to get some official mail hmm. from someone you still have to have email so the use of email has not gone down it's in fact continues to go up now in addition to email there are 10 other 20 other forms of communication G. whether it's whatsapp signal whatever you may use hmm. uh but that has not lessened the importance of email hmm. because it is an id that is still used for official confirmation of and it's a part of your identity absolutely just like your phone number is a part of your identity absolutely uh, very interestingly i st- and i kid you not i can show it to you i have a 25 year old email id on hotmail i use it that's my official id i've been using it for the longest Arre, and fantastic badhaiya hu aapko even i have a sabir at hotmail.com still <laughs> आपने ईमेल आईडी दे दिया नाउ यू कैन सेंड योर आइडियाज टू सवीर सर ऑन ओके सी व्हाट हैपेंस इज लाइक पीपल लाइक यू यू गाइस वर द इंटरनेट ओजीज और इंटरनेट 1.0 यू नो बिल्कुल आई मीन मैं आपका सिर्फ ईगो बूस्ट करने के लिए नहीं बोल रहा हूं ये सच्चाई है एंड पीपल लाइक यू डेफिनेटली व्हाट आई फील एंड करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग These kind of people already have a vision. आप लोगों के पास एक विजन होता है जो उस टाइम पे दूसरों के पास शायद नहीं होगा अगेन आई एम बींग वेरी ऑनस्ट मैं बड़ा ही नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैं अपना ऑब्जर्वेशन बता रहा हूँ सो वेर डू यू सी वॉट इज योर विजन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन का अब क्या बिकॉज ई मेल बहुत बड़ा स्टेप था सडनली यू नो इन अ वे इट लेटर्स को उसने साइड कर दिया था एंड वेर डू यू सी इट्स गोइंग नाउ और वॉट इज गई लाइक probably a decade or two decades from now um i think i don't know about communication we already are using zoom zoom mm. is and and zoom like uh whether it's google meet or zoom or microsoft teams is going to become uh only more realistic okay richer so uh today it's a 2d image for example i don't i i think in it it's not in not too distant of a future you'll you'll get to uh uh you know create a 3d image of somebody sitting right next to you i won't be here hmm. but a digital me of will be constructed uh you know maybe this uh room will change where you'll have certain lights that will uh you know a laser that will create a vision of me over here and i'll be talking to you as if i'm here although i am you know 12500 miles away uh with with a higher bandwidth and higher speed connections coming that's only a foregone conclusion uh even your 
digital interactions on your screens will become more realistic. Okay. You know, hmm. where uh, not just will you see uh, your face uh, and where you are sitting, but you will be in a conference room where people are sitting and you your avatar is talking and interacting with somebody else in a 3D space as if you are there. You know, a matrix kind of... Very interesting. Uh, so all the forms of communication are going to become richer only because with 5G and later on, uh, you know, even faster speeds, bandwidth is going to become more available, you know, to everyone. I don't, I think Wi-Fi is going to go away with 5G okay. coming in because okay. Wi-Fi is localized. Hmm. It has a local area itself. Hmm. When you have hmm. all your, div all your devices are connected to 5G, hmm. why do you need Wi-Fi, right? So, um, yeah. And then, of course, uh, we already are consuming content like crazy, whether it's Netflix or uh, Amazon Video or whatever else. Everything will be downloadable in, you know, in microseconds. In microseconds. Very interesting, sir. Anything that you would like to suggest us to go and watch when it comes to content? What does Sameer, Sameer Bhatia watches uh, in his free time on, <laughs> on OTT platforms it is interesting to know. I don't watch anything because I have three little children who have taken over all the devices. So if you ask me, what do I really watch? I watch Peppa Pig. <laughs> and I watch like... <laughs> you heard it here. Sabir Bhatia, the co-founder of Hotmail, is watching Peppa Pig. Don't have high hopes like, you know, Black Mirror or whatever. Okay. Uh, because of social media, what happens today? Some things are going up from a moment. Suddenly, Elon Musk is everywhere. <laughs> everybody's hero. Have you ever met Elon Musk? Yes, I've had dinner with him. Oh, and how was yeah. the dinner? Great. What were you guys talking about? This was way before his, uh, you know, his uh, uh, PayPal days. It was, he had just sold a company uh, to uh, Compaq. Okay. I think it was some sort of a search engine that he had, Alta Vista or something of that sort. Uh, you know, uh, or, or he, uh, you know, so he sold something at that time and we'd had dinner in San Francisco and he was thinking of starting something called X.com, okay. which was more on financial transactions. Now, since then, obviously he's come a long way mm. and to me, I think his greatest uh, vision was he saw the future before anybody else. And especially when it came to electric cars, which even I dismissed initially, hmm. because my thinking at that time was, and I, I still, I'm not convinced completely that electric is the future, hmm. because uh, you're just putting the problem of polluting the atmosphere somewhere else. Like if electricity is being generated at a coal-fired fi plant, hmm. it's not just not in your face. You're not consuming, then you don't see the fumes out, uh, you know, from the tailpipe of a car, hmm. but Somewhere else. if you if the electricity is not nuclear generated, then it's not green. You know, it's it's coming from coal. You're just pushing the problem somewhere else. It's not generally. It cannot be you know universally good for the environment, so to speak. I, I kind of. But if you this. if if we are able to con to to change all of our energy sources to nuclear or hydro. G which is clean, hmm. then it's a great solution, right? You Otherwise, so that's one problem that I see. Two is the whole use of, uh, you know, rare metals hmm. in um, in cars, uh, in, in the batteries, lithium and other hmm. things, hmm. Hmm. you know, which are, uh, you know, very hard to kind of recycle. Hmm. And the way they are uh, mined today is in places like China and other places, you know, using kind of child labor or whatever, I don't know, or in Africa, hmm. uh, which also poses a problem. How are you going to dispose off of these batteries? That's a huge problem. You can't easily recycle them. Uh, but having said that, every car company today has switched over to, or, or at least has plans to becoming becoming electric, you know, uh, uh, hmm. electrified. Hmm. Uh, and what he has really done is not created the greatest car company on the planet, but created a computer company uh, or computers on wheels. So the ability to update software on the fly, the amount of data that he has collected on because of the cars driving around 
already in the you know on on the roads that's his real uh, value and you know if you think of what the modern form of artificial intelligence and mm. machine learning mm. is the big change is that it is no longer algorithm dependent mm. it is dependent on data and he is sitting on more data about driving cars mm. and about roads than anybody else and that's what makes tesla a trillion dollar company that's a very interesting uh, perspective i never thought of it that way and it's it's so true i think that's why you have the vision i don't but <laughs> okay uh now you were talking about a problem right like how you know visionaries they want to solve a problem koi ek problem hai jo janta ki problem hai society mein problem hai kisi bhi level pe usko hum solve karna chahte hain you're backing up showreel right and not was, backing up it's my idea it's your idea i was just reading about it and in the middle somebody told me hey sabir uh, bhatia is i'm like dude i got to ask him ki bhai what is the showreel all about so for a layman if say i don't know anything about technology or i'm just generally a uh, average joe what is showreel very simple it's a virtual interview platform acha if you if you are a young kid uh, your audience mostly is 18 to 32 ji, year old ji, ji. at some point in time you will have to be interviewed for a job ji. at some point in mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. use this as a test interview where i am interviewing you you download the app hmm. and i ask you questions and simple questions that such as tell me tell me your name first of all hmm. obviously tell hmm. me your educational background hmm. tell me what kind of work experience you have hmm. what do you like to do outside of work what are you passionate about okay what is your dream job hmm. right uh what is the hardest problem you have solved hmm. and how did you do it hmm. that's it that is an interview hmm. and out of the interaction with me as hmm. you answer those questions in Jee. video you create a show reel ah you can which you can then send to a prospective employer okay to say you want to know more about me before hiring me look at this okay here is a show reel and i'm saying that there are a billion people on the planet today Jee. so what problem am i solving there are a billion people who are out of a job Hmm. Right. I'm saying, Showreel will help you get a job. Okay. You create a, a a a video interaction. It'll help you get a job. I'm not limiting it to only uh, professional showreels. You can create a short startup showreel. Let's say you have a startup idea. G. Right. Hmm. I ask you as an entrepreneur, as a veteran entrepreneur, I ask you questions that any investor would ask you, which is. tell me what your idea is why are you uniquely suited to hmm. you know bringing your idea to life how are you changing the world with your idea obviously what hmm. is your vision behind the idea hmm. you can also use a show reel to create a personal show reel let's say you are really interested in somebody or you want to enter the marriage market you know hmm. Hmm. rather than sending your resume and a picture you send a video and you get a video So, so you will get to know the person better when you see their videos as opposed to just looking at their pictures absolutely like uh, as far as uh, the job hunting is concerned uh i think a lot of hr executives they miss out on the talent because a in india they have too much burden on them like right you know reading 20 uh, resumes and they all the same absolutely people co- copy and paste and make great resumes but is that true maybe not right but they like yeah, job che yaar kaise bhi job le lete hain bilkul sahi keh raha hai ab sabke upar ye objective likha hoga exactly <laughs> then their uh, kya kehte hain uh, education education <laughs> then uh, my hobbies that's my favorite like in resumes they have my hobbies i'm like okay those are your passion points hobbies like i lekin sure. all that comes out in a simple interview and i did 25 interviews before i launched this product and these are from people that i had already known hmm. like uh friends of mine colleagues of mine people who work for me and after asking them eight questions hmm. and i gave them 2 minutes to answer each of them hmm. i knew more about them than i had known in the 20 years that i've known them so sir sabir sir ek baat bataiye so these questions hmm. uh these are in as you said 
not just a job job is big part of it yeah marriages yes uh you said like okay you want to pitch your idea as a startup yes. so all this is ai driven is it like because you know uh, what i'm trying to, though i haven't used showreel right now but what i'm imagining is probably something like okay you know uh probably showreel will ask me certain questions ki aapko kis cheez ki showreel banani hai you want to make it for uh pitch or whatever and depending on my feed uh, or my data it will give me a certain type of questions is that is that what we are talking about no here? the questions are fixed they're standard acha so you will even see all the questions up front acha and one by one i ask you those questions as if like my video You're asks there. that i am huh. there wow huh. you answer them huh. and then you stitch together a show reel of all the questions and the answers and it becomes like a continuous video as if it is a recorded zoom, zoom. oh chat which you can then send to an employer and say if you want to hire me and, and know more about me Very than just my resume here they here's this is a qr code take a look at it and you'll see the video my interaction with sabir and a user can uh, access show reel on uh, all the devices all devices google play store iphone app store It's just done. download it already right now brilliant uh, so that is step one are you also looking at expanding it a bit more yes into- sir yes sir we are looking at expanding uh, it possibly in the health area okay to ask you health related questions to check to see if you're leading a healthy lifestyle oh that's interesting simple questions like are you sleeping enough is there any stress in your life huh. and i'm working with doctors huh. to bring a health real version of this so that people get real time good advice from doctors on healthy living so they can probably make that show real and send it to a doctor and doctor can look at it that's true or they can keep it and store it and monitor their own health hmm this is what i used to look like last year this is what i look like now <laughs> <laughs> let's not get there <laughs> I saw some pictures 9 years back and I was like oh my god <laughs> it was a bit depressing but theek hai it's okay uh but it was great to chatting with you sabir sir um uh, always a pleasure thank you no my and, pleasure and you know it is a, a probably a childhood dream coming true today that you know you get to meet uh, internet 1.0 heroes uh, of their childhood so it no, was very great. kind of you thank my you my pleasure sir and it was great to chatting with you and i hope all the best with shoril and i'll definitely check it out thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Right. 95.5 red fm 3.5 bajate raho